I'm going to be showing you how you can code a custom rotating status uh, in Discord.js version 14. So if you don't know what a rotating status is, this is what it's going to look like. Um, this is one of my other bots. As you can see, it changes between different messages for the custom status. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create the variable that has all the names of what you want the status to be. So that's going to be const activities equals. Uh, we're going to do just like that. And we can input the names in here. So let's say subscribe to the channel. Just like that. We can put a comma, we can do um, watching watching Mr. J Awesome's video. Oh, I can't do that. If I can type videos. And then we can do one more. You can put as many as you want, but I'm just going to say um, leave a comment below. Just like that. We will not put a comma here. Um, so we're going to go below that. We're going to do quick pause. I just want to say that if you haven't already, please add SQ to your server um, or servers. It's a really good Discord bot. It uh, has everything you need and uh, it's verified, but we're still trying to grow. So add it up, please. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get right back into it. Uh, set interval. We can do that. And we're going to do more parentheses. And right outside of that one, we're going to do an arrow function just like that. Arrow function. We're going to open that up. We're going to do const status equals activities dot or uh, just like that math dot floor math dot random open that up and right outside we can multiply that by activities dot length just like that we can add a semicolon here i forgot a semicolon here as well and now we can go right here and we can do client dot user dot set presence and then we can do activities. Um, we can do in here, we can do name. And then we can do status, just like that. The same variable we just made up there. We can close that off and we can go ahead and close this off. All right, the final thing we're going to do is we're going to add a comma here and we're going to put in the amount of time you want between each interval. So usually I would say five seconds is good. So that's just going to be 5,000 or 5,000 milliseconds. So now let's go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. We got our bot online here. We can see that it is now rotating. Uh, it says subscribe to the channel and in five seconds, yep, can leave a comment down below. In another five seconds, it will say another random message that we put in there. Um, and if you notice that it says the same one twice in a row, then that is because the math randomly picked the same one twice in a row, but yeah, and you can put in as many messages as you want, as long as you follow the right format, and you'll be good to go. Thank you for watching. If you need any help at all, join the Discord Coding Lounge in the description below. Um, yeah, we got a lot of help channels here, um, and everyone in here is really good. So uh, yeah, we will be here for you if you need it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.